get away. <sighs> it just seems like a big a made up reason to have a chase scene. <clears throat> it's like somebody said, let's have a chase on Tuk Tuk's through, through a, a village and won't that be cool? How do we make that happen? And then they like manufactured to get to this point. Like, hi everyone, welcome to Marvel Monday on Old Lady Reacts. I'm the old lady, otherwise known as Michelle. I'm a huge movie buff who's seen pretty much everything. I even worked at a video store for a few years, but I somehow skipped over an entire genre of movies. So I created this reaction channel where I react to action and superhero movies and TV shows that I'm viewing for the first time. I'm watching the MCU in release order, so it's time for more Ms. Marvel. I'm not sure about this show yet. Uh, of all the MCU shows, these first two episodes are, I think, my least favorite. And I feel so bad. Oh. But they feel really cliche and kind of retro and old-fashioned, but not in a good way. And it, it it's very surprising for me. Most of the shows to this point, I've been really, like, confused about what's happening after watch watching the first two episodes but like confused in a good way like oh my god what's like what's going on what's happening I haven't seen anything like this before what's gonna happen next and like I've always been really interested in watching more to like figure out what's really happening and usually things are clarified but then like things get dug way deeper and usually um, I end up even more confused. They've all been kind of like out there and like really interesting and unexpected. But Ms. Marvel has been very expected and honestly pretty predictable. Uh, very 80s teen comedy meets TV sitcom. And, and you know, writers use cliches. Like that's not what I'm reacting to. It. It's, it's that there's no acknowledgement that it's cliche and then like using the cliche to then subvert my expectations unexpectedly. So I'm really hoping that that happens in the next two episodes here. I don't know, it's got a lot of work to do to set it apart from stories that I've seen a million times. So I'm not gonna go on and on about it though, let's just get to it, we'll see if it gets deeper, fingers crossed it gets better. And right before we get started, please support my channel by subscribing so you can find me easily and watch more of my videos. So let's dive into the middle two episodes of Ms. Marvel. This music feels a lot darker than previous episodes, I will say that. Should we be concerned it's on a severed arm? On a what? I told you. The British have probably looted this place twice over by now. Then one will have to do. So what happened to the second one? As for your great-grandmother, Aisha, that was the last time we saw her. Okay, so that she's not related to the boy she likes. That's good. Aisha was from another dimension, and so are we. I was going to say, they don't look like they've aged much since 1946. We've been around for a hundred years, and he picks the stupidest parts of humanity to be obsessed with. That's so rude. Yeah, about that. <laughs> That's so rude. She is adorable. Uh, I, I never said that. <laughs> Not that I don't think that, I just... I, I'm trying to this is... <laughs> yeah, you do. So where exactly is your home? And also, what are you? Like... Yeah, what, what, what exactly are we talking about here? But what we're most commonly known as is Jin. I'm sorry, did you just say Jin? So are they genies? Those are genies, right? But not like our genies, like, but like evil genies. Also, do not forget we are trying to drop the name okay. Nightlight. What are you even talking about? It's a bad name. It just sounds like it's for five-year-olds. Come on! Yeah, Nightlight's not a good name. We don't want that. I'm a Jin. And Tonic? And tonic. <laughs> okay, that's funny. You're good at math. Do you know anything about interdimensional travel off the top of your head? Specifically that of the Nord dimension. Mm, probably not. I'm guessing not. If you do know of anyone who can fly, please send them my way. I've been looking for someone to clean out the rain gutters. That would be handy. Yeah, you study the criminal code in homeroom. Law and order reruns, but I'm not wrong. <laughs> She's not. Excuse me, Miss Agent. Next time, remove your shoes. That was a good line, but it could, it needed to be massaged a little bit, like direction-wise. It needed to, a little bit of work. Good Muslim versus bad Muslim. Let's self-surveil our people routine. I completely ruined our election result meeting. Was there? Was there? I feel like there was there a scene in between this and the previous one because I feel like this is a completely different. Wait, did you just say you won? 
maybe. Oh, is that an act? Oh, okay. That was weird. <laughs> Very weird direction. Okay. Uh, all these people, your family? Yeah. Yeah, big shocker. A Pakistani wedding is big and a lot of, with a lot of people. That can't be a surprise to her. Good. It's not a thing you are, Kamala. It's a thing you do. It is a thing you do. Are those the gloves? Oh, a mask. <laughs> those are so good. <laughs> I love those. They're not as good as the as the old version, but maybe like before Haustis went out of business and got bought, but But to unlock such an ancient barrier will require a primordial power. Interesting. So he doesn't know all that already? Like I think I need to go. But I can't leave unless I know that, that you Heck yeah, she need, he needs to go. Like what? <laughs> I will help you help them. I will do the research. I will help you figure things out. But just right now. Well, they don't even know what that really means. What does that really mean? Like <laughs> helping them. What what action does that helping them entail? All the money I have in my checking account. $732. That's all? Goodness. That's kind of scary. What does he do for work? Well, now's not the time to worry. You'll find your way after grad school. Oh, he's still in school and he's getting married, but he's not done with grad school yet? Commit to the love of your life. You are brave, my son. Wish we had a little bit more about their relationship, that Ahmad and, and Taisha's relationship. Why did he ask her to marry him if he wasn't done with school and he doesn't have any money? Like, why now? You are now husband and wife. <laughs> Take me Is that done sitting down in, in, in a, a Muslim ceremony? I was going to tell you, she just needs some more time. We don't have more time. But... Well, it's been decades. Why now? Why does it have to happen right now? And you still asked Kamala to do it anyway? This place will never be our home. We're going to make her help. To do what though? What are they asking her to do other than help them? Like what does helping entail? Like did I miss something? So we didn't get any scenes of them like practicing this or coming up with this though? Like how do they know what they're doing? Oh, Joey does it all. Okay everyone, let's slow it down. So he's going to interrupt the wedding and just tell her that it's dangerous? Like, what? Hey, They're okay. not here to talk. They'll kill everyone. You have to get out of here. Hey. How did, what? <laughs> Where is this coming from? I'm so confused. So it's going to basically ruin the wedding? Like, I don't get why. I, I don't get why any of this is happening other than to, like, be really dramatic. Like, what do they want? I can't understand what they want. Other than like, yeah, they want the bangle, but like, I mean, they could have just like talked to her and convinced her to give them the thing. Like, I don't, I don't understand what's happening. I feel like there were like six conversations that should have happened before they got to this point of them like trying to convince her to give them the bangle or, and then her like trying to decide if they, to give them the bangle and figuring out explaining why they need the bangle and what it's actually going to do like it's kind of like they just thought like well we need to have a big fight at this point so how do we manufacture a, a, a fight rather than having it be an actual like necessary part of the plot why are you doing this you said you would protect me why should i protect those who betray me how did she portray her? Like, wh how? <laughs> but we can't if we don't know what's going on with you. I can't. Why not? Like, <laughs> there's no reason she can't tell them. Like, who? nobody told her don't tell anybody. Like, why can't she tell them? Like, <laughs> explain what's going on. You have to come to Karachi. What, Nani? Nani. Yeah, so the story construction isn't getting any more interesting or a uh, wedding being destroyed again cliche and uh, like a manufactured like the brother doesn't have anything to say about the fact that his whole wedding was destroyed basically so pretty so the dad didn't come with them and how did they convince the mom to go in the first place like i'm curious i don't know that they explain that very well um 
I hope you don't mind that we are sitting outside because Kamala wore jeans. So they all left the house knowing they were going to a place that didn't allow jeans, but they didn't go, why are you wearing jeans before they left the house? <laughs> like, Come on, is this not exotic enough for the ABCD's Instagram? American born, confused, they say. I know what it means. So has she been there before or not? Do we establish that? I feel like they said that she's been there, but. Where'd you learn to jump like that, Ninja Turtles? Where'd you learn yours, huh, Donkey Kong? Yes, probably. Your great grandmother's story is of legend. When you're ready, we have much to discuss. I'm ready. Let's discuss here. I want. <laughs> Bastard! <laughs> and why did? What was he doing that he needed to get poked with the electrical thing, cattle prod thing? There is a border marked with blood and pain. People are claiming their identity based on an idea some old Englishmen had when they were fleeing the country. So are, are Pakistani and Indian people still like super interested in what happened during partition or are they, have they young people moved on from that? Maybe it's still like a thing. Everyone call her sloth baby. <laughs> <laughs> sloth baby. So they're in a country that he's, she's never been in before and they just let her go out the house? like. The mom wouldn't let her go to AdventureCon, but her mom just lets her go to this with a, some guy that isn't a relative. Like, I'm so good. It's just so weird. Oh, we need this scene. So manufacture a reason to do it. Like, like who are all those babies? It's so weird. Like, it comes, everything's coming out of just nowhere. Mom, how are you eating this? <laughs> you need some tea. So the mom likes toffees. They couldn't have worked that in in like the first or second episode. So did the cousins exist purely, purely to like get her out of the house? Like, and we don't like, where are, how, why is the mom letting her out of the house to come to these people? Yeah. Surprise. <sighs> it just seems like a big a made up reason to have a chase scene. <clears throat> it's like somebody said, let's have a chase on Tuk Tuk's through, through a, a village and won't that be cool? How do we make that happen? And then they like manufactured to get to this point. Like, So she doesn't know how to drive a regular car and now she's gonna try to drive the for uh, like why did she have to take the truck why couldn't she just like get out and walk the other direction Mala, it's too late he's gone we have to go well you don't necessarily know that where do we go now it's a dead end and how do you know that it's a dead end like it might not necessarily be Oh, the show isn't getting any better. All of the lead ups to the fights and chases just seem so manufactured. Like they thought of what kind of big scene they wanted and then just like backfilled the minimum of dialogue and plot needed to make the action make a tiny little bit of sense. Like breaking up the entire wedding, so manufactured because they could easily have like just captured her walking into the reception or out of it or had the fight while the wedding was going on and everyone was having a good time while she was fighting evil in the bathroom or whatever like there's so many other ways to have done that and not been so cliche i mean there was literally no reason they needed to walk into a room full of people to have that fight other than to be dramatic and because they couldn't think of any other way to make it interesting you know, or have any reason to show the wedding. But yeah, the villains are not interesting. <laughs> and we know next to nothing about them or their personalities. Like there was hardly any explanation about why they needed the bangle and how specifically Kamala was supposed to help them. And they didn't even try to convince her or con her into just giving it to them before they turned to violence. Because they're like, oh, we need it now. But they didn't explain why they needed it now. Like, they've been there since 1947. And they age slowly. Why do they need it now? Like, it doesn't make any sense. And, and honestly, given the number of Indian and Pakistani gods and legends and stories, like, these are ancient civilizations. Like, so there's a lot they could have worked with. But what we do know about the jinn in this story, like, the dad is 
was reading it to Bruno, totally expositional and just so surface level and nonspecific as to mean almost nothing. Like, why didn't they do what Moon Knight did and pick one interesting story to explore and make it more specific and more meaningful? And like, uh, ugh. it's like uh, everything that Moonlight did right about culture and legend and history, this show does wrong. Like think back, think back on how many conversations there were between Harrow and Stephen and how many interactions they had before you even really realized that he was the main villain and what he really wanted. Like Cairo in Moon Knight felt like a real place that Mark and Layla were visiting or existing in with, you know, cities and deserts and markets and all of that. Karachi just feels like a set piece that was just being used because it's so colorful and to show how wide-eyed Kamala is at seeing it. There are just so many questions there that, that they gloss over. Why, why did the mom agree to go to Karachi so easily? Why didn't the dad go with them? Uh, there are so many characters introduced too without like digging any deeper into why they're actually there. Like who are these cousins and why did they leave a 16 year old in, alone in the middle of this market to find her own way? And what was Cameron's relationship with his mother that he would betray the clandestines and the mom would abandon him to the Department of Damage Control? And why was the DODC so easy for the clandestines to escape from? Like it just, uh, yeah. For the first time in an MCU show, I am not looking forward to watching the final two episodes. I'm going to because I'm a completist and maybe they can pull this together for in the final two episodes, but yeah, I'll reserve my final judgment until then, but there's lots of issues so far. Ooh, yikes. I feel bad. I don't want to say I don't like this show, but I don't. so far it's not good. Oh, well. So if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really does help the channel. And click here to watch another of my video reactions that you might like. Thanks for watching with me.